One of the issues working on people's photographs is someone will close their eyes. So I've got three examples for you, and using generative fill and a little bit of masking, we can open those eyes. Here's part one, just simply opening their eyes, but actually making sure that the eyebrows and everything else is intact. Okay, here we go. In part one of opening the eyes with generative fill, we got a great picture of a couple of guys here, but of course, one closed his eyes. So let's zoom in. Now, L for the lasso tool. Now let's create like a little mask around his eyes. Draw it around, you know, can exaggerate if you wish. It looks something like a little mask. We'll go to generative fill and type in open eyes, enter. We'll hit generate two more times. Now, oh, let's see here. In the second row, we've got a good one here. Now, but unfortunately, Generative Fill did a great job, but it did not keep the original eyebrows and everything. So let's choose the mask. Go to your brush. Make sure it's at about flow 10%. Make sure you're using black. And let's bring back the eyebrows because you can bring back everything and make it look a little more real. Just color around where you drew that mask, except for the eyes, some parts of the nose and everything too. Now you can look before, after. If you see, you'll still see things that are moving, keep coloring it in, leave the eyes alone. Before, after, it just looks like he opened his eyes. Great shot. Hi, this is part two. This photograph is from 1957. And yes, you can fix your pictures from back then and make them look real. Let's go. Here we go with this picture from 1957. Great family shot, but looks like grandpa's got his eyes closed. So let's zoom in. L for the lasso, start up at the very top and draw a mask around him. Take your time. Now, in generative fill, type in open eyes. Let's see what we got. Number two is great. If you don't like what you have, you can always hit generate again and again until you get a good selection. Now, in here, it looks good, except it's rearranged his face a little bit and his nose. But you can bring that back. Click on the layer mask, grab a brush, make sure your flow is about 10%. Let's bring back everything that it took. Eyebrows, maybe a bit of the cheek and nose. But let's just keep the eyes. If that looks good to you, let's look. Before, after. Looking good. This is part three in the opening of the eyes regenerative fill. Now in this picture, this girl's got her head tilted to the side. Will generative fill do it? Let's find out. All right, now part three in her regenerative fill, opening eyes. Got a great picture of a girl here at the beach, but she's got her head tilted to the side. So let's use the Z key to zoom in. And what we want to do, hit the R key to rotate the canvas. So she's kind of looking at you. L key for the lasso. And let's draw a mask around her. So you can choose everything. In generative fill, type in open eyes. That's not bad. There's a good one. So hit the R key to rotate and escape. Now zoom out. And she got a great picture of her eyes. But you may think that, well, her eyebrows and everything else have changed. No problem. So again, with the Z key, let's zoom in, rotate the canvas. Okay, now that we're on the layer mask, grab a brush, make sure you're painting black, flow it about 10%, and let's just paint in what it took away. The original eyebrows, original bridge of the nose, things like that. Just leave the eyes alone. Bring that part back. Click the little eye, before, after, before, after. Rotate the canvas, escape, zoom out, and we get a great picture at the beach. Generative Phil really came to the rescue with this picture of this girl in part three with her head tilted to the side. If this video helped you at all, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm Don from 40911. See ya.